Okay, in this video we're going to do example six and we'll do uh, these questions through here. So what we start with is a deck of cards, uh, 52 cards, no jokers. Um, we're going to choose two cards from this thoroughly shuffled deck. It's been shuffled well. Assume that the deck is shuffled after a card is returned to the deck. So anyway, we're going to choose two cards. So we choose one card and then the, and then another card. So sometimes we will uh, take a card. Oh, anyway, so let's just do part A. If you put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability the first card is a seven and the next card is a king? So we're going to draw a card and the first card needs to be a seven, right? So part A here. So we want to get the probability of a seven on the first card. Now remember there are four sevens in the deck and the deck is 52. We've got a deck of 52, no jokers. So four out of 52. Which simplifies to one out of 13. You can think of it that way because there's thir there's um, uh, four suits and um, and a, di a, a 13 different cards of each suit, right? Now, we've drawn a 7 the first time around, okay? But then we put the first card back in the deck before we draw the next. We put it back in here and now we shuffle. Assume the card deck is shuffled after the card is returned to the deck. We shuffle again very well. What is the probability that the first card is a 7 and the next card is a king? probability of getting a king on the next go, right? Well, again, what do you think it is? Well, there are in fact 52 cards in here. So we're pulling from 52, right? Because we put the 7 back in, right? And um, let's see. The probability of getting the king is well there's four kings so it's just four out of 52 again right and we can multiply if we want to know how, what's probably getting the seven and then the king now you've got two events one after the other right makes it all the more less likely um and these events are independent right and we can get that so four into four goes once four into 52 13 times four into four goes once four into 52 13 times we have 1 times 1 is 1 over 13 times 13, 169, right? So 1 over 169 is the probability there. For part B, if you do not put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability now that the first card is a 7 and the next card is a king? Okay. So this time get probability of 7 and then probability of king. Okay. So the deck is shuffled. We draw out a seven. Okay, there's a seven, right? The chances of getting that seven out of 52, there are four sevens out of 52, or one out of 13. You can write that down if you want to. I'm just going to do it that so it's clear how many cards we're dealing with. Now, can you do this? What's the problem? If, if, if we do not put this first card back in the deck, so we throw that seven away, it's over here, right? We don't put it back in the deck, right? If you do not put that back in the deck, and now you shuffle and draw another card, what is the probability that the next card is a king? Can you do that? What's the probability the next card is a king? See if you can do that. Did you get it? The trick is, we didn't put the 7 back in, so we don't have 52 cards now, we have 51. Okay, There are 4 kings in here, there are 4 kings, right? So the chances are of getting the king on the next goal is 4 out of 51. Now over here it was 4 out of 52 on the next turn because we replaced the 7, this time we didn't. And so the chances are 4 out of 51, right? And we can... Um, these events are independent just so long as you make sure to, you know, calculate correctly, right? 
uh, with with four out of fifty one, no, not four out of fifty two, right? So um, four into four goes once, four into fifty two thirteen times, and that's all the cross canceling we can do. So this gives us one times four is four out of thirteen times fifty one. Six six three. Okay, just to compare these probabilities, I'm gonna I'm gonna do them as decimals just for fun. Okay, I think in in uh, can in in your homework you're supposed to give it as a fraction, but let's just do them as percentages for fun. One out of one six nine, zero point zero zero five nine. Move the decimal point one two spots to the right, and that's approximately. 0.59%, isn't it? So it's approximately 0.59%. Okay, that's rounded. 4 out of 663. 4 out of 663 is this. A little bit higher. Change that to a percentage. Move the decimal point two spaces to the right. And we get approximately 0.6%. Okay. So 0.59%, 0.6%. This time it's slightly more likely because why? Why is this more than this? So this time we did we did not return the seven back to the deck, and so we had 51 cards to choose from to get our to find our king instead of 52. See when we return the seven on the next. Uh, the next time we searched for the king, there were 52 cards to search through because this guy was back in there. But on the uh, on this this part, um, we did not return the seven, so he was left out, and so now we only had 51 cards with which to find the king. And so that's why the second time round, when we did not put the first card back, the probability is a little bit little bit higher. Okay. Okay. Part C and D. Now, please feel free to. Um, press pause and do this yourself and then check the video but do check the video because I imagine um, you might make a mistake on this the first time round if you're not uh, careful or reading carefully or whatever so just press pause and try it but then do check the video okay I hope you've pressed pause and given it a go yourself I'm going to go over it with you now if you put the first card back in so again we're drawing two cards same thing um, you know, same thing as we started. We're going to choose two cards from a thoroughly shuffled deck. Assume that the deck is shuffled after a card is returned to the deck. So one card and then another card, right? One card, then another card. If you put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability that the first card is a heart and the next card card is a red? So we'll do that part C first, okay? So probability the first card is a heart. Let's just get that first. What's probably the first card is a heart? Remember there are four suits. Okay. There are spades, hearts, spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. Four suits. Okay. And there's 13 of each suit. Okay. So the probability of getting a heart is there's 13 hearts out of 52 cards. No jokers. 13 hearts out of 52 cards, right? So let's say we did pull out a heart. There's a heart, right? And then we shuffle the deck, shuffle, 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 shuffle really well, better than I can do. And what's the probability the next card is red? Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, we, we pull it out, sorry. Um, and we put the first card back in again. Sorry, pull out a heart. 13 out of 50, put it back in. Now we shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. What's the probability the next card is red? Probability the next card is red. Okay. So to understand that, I'll just go over the the uh, suits again. You have, you know, hearts, clubs, spades, diamonds. Um, half of the cards are red, half are black. Half are red, half are black. Okay. So, probability of getting a red card out of 52 is one half. Or just to be more clear, I'm going to say there's there's 13 hearts and there's 13 diamonds. 
So that makes 26 red cards out of 52, okay? So again, we, we pulled out a heart, but then we replaced it. We put the first card back in the deck. That's the key there, back in the deck, right? And then we drew a red card. The chances of that was one half or 26 out of 52. Now we multiply, this becomes one quarter. I'll do it down here to keep it neat. And this becomes one half. And the total probability here is um, one over eight. Do part D, press pause on the video and do part D. I hope you press pause and try it yourself. Watch out. Probability of getting a heart and then getting a red. But this time we do not put the first card back in the deck before we draw the next. Now what's the probability the first is heart, the next is red? Well, we start off the same. So um, we pull out a heart. And the chances of that happening there's 13 hearts out of 52. So 13 out of 52, or a quarter, right? But the next thing is probability of getting a red card. What's the probability of getting a red card now? But remember, we do not, do not put this card back. Do not put, that's out, right? So we have how many cards left here? How many cards are left? When I'm shuffling them and I'm, then I'm gonna draw another card, how many cards are left? How many cards? 51. How many red cards are in there? How many red? What's the probability of getting a red card? How many red cards are left here? Be careful. How many red cards? I already pulled one out and it's sitting right there. It's red, isn't it? See, it's a red card right there. So what's the probability of getting a red card? I have 51 here. 51. And one red has already been removed. One red is removed. What's the probability of getting a red card? That's the trick. 26 subtract 1 is what? 25. There are 25 red cards left now. So that's the trick there. Now we can multiply. 13 out of 52 is just a quarter. So we've got a quarter times 25 out of 51, which is 25 over 204. And um, that's your answer. Now that is what compared to this. I'm going to convert both to uh, deaths or to percents, just so we can have a look at the difference in probabilities for each. Okay. So one eighth, as you know, is twelve point five percent. You've seen that before many times. Twenty five. Sorry, twenty five out of two hundred four is about 12 point, um, we'll just call that 12.25 percent. I'll round it, 12.25 percent. 12.5 is more than 12.25. Why is this probability higher than this? Tell me. Why is 12, this probability higher than this? What's the difference? Can you see why? So you've got to remember what happened. The first time when we pulled out a heart, we put it back into the deck and we shuffled it. And now we had 52 cards left from which to find 20, a red, one red out of 26. Okay, a red. The next time we pulled the heart out, we left it out. We left the heart out. And now we only had we had 51 cards to choose from, so that helped a little bit because there's less cards to choose from, but there were less reds in there also, 25, right? And so this fraction here is less than this, right? Because 26 out of 52, of course, is a half, but 25 out of 51 is less than a half. It's 0 0.49. See that? Right? So that's the reason. This is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.49 approximately. And so when we replaced the heart, we had a better chance of getting red, but when we left the heart out, we had less chance of getting a red, slightly less, right?